633 and uh, new this morning in Fairfax County, firefighters looking for the source of a carbon monoxide leak that uh, earlier sent several people to the hospital. Our Kenneth Gibson has been live on the scene all morning long. He has the very latest. Now, Kenneth, you said earlier that the, the carbon monoxide levels were 900 times what they were supposed to be. Yeah, let me correct that. There was actually 100 times a firefighter updated that information, but still, that's fairly significant, and that is a reason why I can update you on this, the conditions of the three people that were taken out of here, Autria, they are now considered uh, in life, they, their injuries were life-threatening. It is two women and one man that was transported from this scene earlier today. And take a look at the scene. When we first got here, we're the first ones on the scene here, um, and the firefighters were here from Fairfax County. They first got reports that people had suffered um, nausea and they were having headaches. And so EMT got here and realized those are the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. And when firefighters did get here and check the levels, they realized and they were told now that the levels were 100 times more than what they should normally be. So they evacuated an entire apartment building some 30 plus people who were living there in the middle of the night and then those people were just given the all clear just within the last hour to go back into the building that's after firefighters spent the evening ventilating the apartments of the carbon monoxide poisoning but in the meantime again the bad news right now is that those three people the two women and one man suffering from life-threatening injuries as a result of this carbon monoxide poisoning a story in Falls Church. Candace Gibson, ABC 7 News. All right.